equations um, um, mainly to find the gradient of a point that of the line that passes through two points and also to find the equation of the line that passes through two points okay of course you could use uh, you could do it manually um, which I've taught in class and, and it will be shown in other videos but I'm going to show you how to use the cast in this case all right so firstly from your menu from your menu you could um, click on the picture plot icon okay, the picture plot and that will bring you into this particular page and what you want to do is um, because firstly you want to clear all you will clear all and uh, open the table open the table so this is a table that you have and what we are going to do is we are going to um, fill, uh, write the two points on this is point one and this is point two so we have x y so the first point is uh, 2 comma minus 10 so let's key in 2 2 and minus 10 here and the second point is uh, minus 5 comma 11 so minus 5 and the y is 11 okay just make sure that you you um, you know which is the x and y so this is the x and this is the y this is the x and this is the y it doesn't really matter whether this is point one or this is point one okay, if you use this uh, as point one then there will be a point two all right so now we have the two points on this table and what we are going to do is uh, we're going to we are going to find the, the the equation of this line so click on this uh, left hand icon that will display all the menu and uh, what you want to do is uh, click on this particular particular icon here. If it is not this straight line icon, because sometimes it may be the uh, the other other lines, uh, other other graphs, you want to select the correct graph. So click on that, and uh, here it shows you um, y equals to a x plus b. Okay, this is a familiar standard form y equals to m x plus c. Okay, so the the a here a here would be the gradient. So in this case, we know that the gradient of the line that passes through the points two comma minus ten and uh, minus five comma eleven is equals to the a here, which is minus three. All right. So we're gonna write that, write that down, and uh, let's say. Use this as the size. So we screen. Let's use a green pen and we say um, gradient. Oh, gradient. Okay, equals to minus three. Now find it. So let's look at the next question. Find the equation of the going through the points minus two comma minus ten and minus five. 11 and we are using the same two points okay if it is another two points you go through the same same old, uh, same process as uh, in using the in finding the gradient so now we have found the we have found the gradient and uh, we can find the lines as well from here so y is equals to ax plus b so we say we say the equation equation is y equals to a a is uh, minus 3 um, oops what's happening okay minus 3 x plus and we see the b here is minus 4 okay so instead of a plus let's change it to a minus okay so I erase that off and it is a minus the equation of the line is y equals to minus 3 minus minus 3x minus 4 okay and um, we have taught in statistics also that uh, we are using another form so if you look at this form y equals to a plus bx y equals to a plus bx this is uh, more suited um, for our statistics uh, form okay. Basically, A is the initial condition, B is the rate of change, and the equation has not changed. Okay, so let's look at it. We say in the form, let's say, let's say now, if I say um, for Y, 
equals to a plus bx. Now, the a, in this case, in this case, the a is minus 4. Okay, minus 4. And the b here is minus 3. So minus 3x. And you can see that they are actually the same. They are actually the same uh, equation. So you just need to be clear as to which is the a and which is the b. As I've mentioned in class, we are um, in general maths, we are going to use this form a plus bx, although you have been learning learning the um, y equals to mx plus c um, all the way from your secondary school years. Okay, so, so if you encounter these questions as to how to find the gradient of a line or the equation of the line, you may use the um, the cast for that purpose.